Hey, what's up guys? We're here to talk about the three cup straight line versus the four cup diamond rack. So let's take a look at it, come on. Good morning, I'm here to talk about the four cup diamond rack compared to the three cup straight line. So basically every time you walk up to the table you see six cups here. You're shooting on this rack as soon as you start the game. So our theory is why would you go to an abnormal rack during gameplay? So what we're talking about is you have the six cups here, taking these two away give you a four cup diamond. It's something you see every time you step up to the table. When you're shooting, you're shooting at this rack already. You practice on this rack more than ever. So why wouldn't you go to this rack when you go to four cup? What we see a lot of times is people, they'll hit the front two and they'll shoot on this rack forever until they get to this, until they get to this, or until they get to this. And then they re-rack to their straight line. The reason why this is a bad theory is two reasons. Number one, most teams when they get to a rack like this with four cups and they're shooting to get that three cup straight line, they'll waste shots on this rack. Your partner will miss, you'll, you'll miss. What do you use will hit it, the other one will miss. It's a wasted shot just to get to a three rack. Where if you had this and you automatically rack to a, a four, you would have a better probability of at least making one of these cups or two of these cups on that round and then continuing on with the shot that you already see. Now, here's where it gets tricky. When you look at the straight line, so here's our four cup diamond. We're gonna put a straight line next to it. And we're gonna show you why this is a good rack. First off, you already have one and one. So in a four cup rack, even with a shocker, with a three cup shocker is better than this. So you already have the one cup. It's these two cups and this cup. Now the reason why this rack is so much better than this one. This cup sits, and I brought a ruler out, this cup sits forward about a quarter of an inch forward from these cups, which isn't the problem. It's the front cup that's the problem. This front cup is the problem. That front cup sits an entire, I would have to say, an entire half inch ahead of this front cup. So what tends to happen is when you shoot, you shoot for the front cup, but when you shoot for this front cup, you're aiming for the back. So when you go to shoot on the straight line, where does your ball end up? It ends up in this cup. Why? Because that's your normal shot. That's why the middle cup gets taken out first in a straight line almost 85% of the time. You're shooting for the front, you, your regular shot shoots for here, you miss, but then you catch the middle cup. You have to adjust your shot for the front cup. So this cup is in its right spot and then you're gonna get this cup because of this cup. Now you're shooting at an abnormal cup in the front and most people will tank this two or three times before one of the partners make it. It's wasted shots. So you have wasted shots to get to this and then wasted shots shooting on it. Where this rack, you see every time, you don't have to adjust anything. You just shoot just like you would a normal game. Even if you got rid of these two on the sides, it's still a straight line and it's the same as this the bottom line is these are better just because that cup, cup is closer it doesn't give you an advantage it gives you a disadvantage because of the fact that you're not used to shooting at that you're used to shooting at this this is where the advantage is now when you usually step up to this rack I could tell you my two favorite cups are these middles right here Front, middle, these three right here, you're gonna go front, side, side. You're not gonna touch the back row. So why if you got here and your partner hits, you're shooting on a flat three to get to your straight line. And if he makes it, you still got a flat two. It doesn't, it's not a good rack. It never works out that way. So from here to here to here, you've limited your game multiple times on shots. And it's two or three shots that are gonna make a game or put you in rebuttals. How many times have you lost the game by one cup? How many times have you lost the game where your partner hits the rebuttal shot and you miss? It comes down to those small little things that you can do in a game that will make your game go from good to great. And they, people call it a desperate diamond for a reason because they don't want you to go to it because it's an advantage. 
so they get in your head and they talk you out of it. So next time you see this, next time you step up, and it's practice. You've practiced, you've practiced many times trying to go to that straight line and you've gotten so comfortable with it that you just say, oh, this is what I'm good at. This is what makes me feel comfortable. Comfortable doesn't mean shit. What means shit is doing something that's gonna make you win the game and the probability of you winning the game on a four cup diamond or a shocker. One in the back, two in the front. Reverse triangle. This has a better potential than a straight line. You have these two cups here, which you hit every time you step up to the table. It's the same exact rack as that. Just take this away. Same exact, it's the same exact rack that you step up to the table every time. Just take them away. Imagine a front cup there and you bang, bang. 18 months we've been studying this, 18 months. And we've talked many people into this. And their games have gone through the roof. And it's always, not that they're better than the other team, they're winning by one cup, two cups. This is the advantage. So make sure you check it out next time. When you go to shoot, rack to a four cup diamond. In Pond Kings, this is the way to go. All right guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hey guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down in the comment section. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.